Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you that you can connect different kind of Bluetooth devices to the Samsung Galaxy Beam Projector smartphone. A smartphone which has a projector also called Beamer inside the phone. So, I'm going to show you that you can connect a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard easily to your phone. First thing you do is you turn on the Bluetooth on both devices so you will see a blue light and then you take your phone and you turn on the Bluetooth on the phone which I already did uh, then you go on settings wireless and network Bluetooth settings and uh, if you do that for the first time you have to make it visible here that means you have to tick that box and then you have to click on scan for devices. I already uh, did that, I already connected uh, the, both devices to my phone so I don't need to do that again. And uh, then you will be asked for the first time, if you do it for the first time, you will be asked to type in any kind of key uh, and then it will connect to your phone. So in my case, as I said, it's already connected, so I have the mouse here and I have the keyboard as well. So let's go out from here. Um, the range is 10 meters, so you can use, you can have the phone 10 meters away and, uh, and you can work on it uh, like that. Uh, if you don't like the keyboard and the mouse, you can have the combination as well, which is this one. It's a keyboard including a mouse pad here on the side. So let me turn on the projector, so I can show you better. As you can see, there is really a projector inside the phone. And let's put that here. And as you can see, I have a mouse inside the Android system, which is really awesome. And uh, I have the same with the keyboard. It's fully functional now. Um, let's say you want to uh, do a presentation or you want to edit some Excel files. I will show you how to do that. So you just go on Polaris Office which is pre-installed already on the beam and uh, you go here on the left and you can choose what kind of document you want and let's say you want to do a new presentation you just go on the layout here and you type in anything you want and uh, you have all the kind of options here so that's really cool if you want to do presentations you want to edit your presentation you can do all that here on your little, let's say, uh, laptop. So let's go out from here. In case you don't like the Android environment, uh, you can also install Linux, which in my case I did. I installed uh, the newest version of Ubuntu uh, 12 uh, on my phone, and I'm going to show you that now. So you have a real desktop experience, like Windows XP or Windows 7. So I'm going to start the VNC viewer and there you go. I have a desktop environment on my smartphone, that's really awesome. Uh, you have all the functions that uh, Ubuntu gives you, the pre-functions, I mean obviously you can always install more. We have for example the leaf pad, which is like similar to the notepad. And you know you can type any kind of text what you want. Or you can um, surf the internet, um, you can you know, use Google or whatever site you want to visit. Uh, it's a little bit laggy as you can see. Um, what you can do to solve that is you could for example overclock a bit the phone so it's faster. The, the, the reason uh, why it's laggy is because uh, Ubuntu runs over the Android system. And yeah, as you can see, my mouse is fully functional and also the keyboard. If you want to watch some YouTube videos, then I suggest you to um, update the Adobe Flash Player inside Ubuntu. But I will do another extra review on how to install Ubuntu on the Wii. So let's go from here. Um, basically, what I want to show you, let's go quickly back because I want to show you that you can actually do all that 
on a huge screen. So I will show you that now, the projection on a 100 inch screen. So I will move my table backwards now. And we have to switch off the light. So I already prepared the measuring tape guys, so you can see it's really a 100 inch screen, I'm not fooling around. So let's measure it. As you can see that's a massive 100 inch screen, or also 100 Zoll, it's the same. Next thing you want to do when you have such a big screen, you want to adjust the focus again. By just quickly pressing the projector button. And let's go back to our preview desktop. And there you go. Yeah, it's a whole new experience basically, uh, of surfing, and uh, working, it's really cool. So, um, let's go back to the Android system. Basically what you can do as well, you can play any kind of Android games on uh, the device I showed you before, which is this one, the Bluetooth uh, keyboard and mousepad combination. The one I showed you in the beginning. If, in case you don't want to play your games on the uh, Bluetooth uh, keyboard or uh, with the mouse, you can do it with the other device as well. So, um, yeah, there you go, you have it on a massive screen, and uh, let's uh, surf the internet. Let's go on Google, here we have it already. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool, I think. Um, one thing, one trick I will show you, in case you don't like the um, mobile uh, layouts uh, that uh, is, uh, comes always uh, kind of pre-installed uh, with the, for example, with the Firefox, then uh, there is a trick I show you, uh, so the websites are not displayed as mobile websites, they are displayed as normal desktop websites. So all you need to do is you go on the top left, then you click on uh, more, this you can only do in Firefox. Uh, then you can go on a request desktop site, and like that, you see the layout totally changed. Let me go back. The layout totally changed, as if you would see it in front of your uh, computer. Alright, guys, let me turn the light back on. You want to know what's the best about the beam, guys? All that fun fits in your pocket. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I will do even cooler videos than that. So stay tuned. And uh, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comment box below. And don't worry, I'll be back.